Hello everybody, it's me, Loki, Loki Niden, and we have some Glass Masquerade, something that I haven't streamed or ever played before. Um, I'm playing this because I'm feeling quite ill and quite fragile, so I will say immediately that if I do have to pop away for just a minute or two, I do apologise for that, but uh, that, that may or may not have to happen. But yes, Glass Masquerade, something that I've been, you know, having in my Steam Store library for quite a long time, but I've just never gotten around to playing it. And Hippie Happy says, oh, hen whoa, Miss Knight, and hello, Hippie Happy, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm not feeling too well, but I don't want to go to sleep because then I don't want to be ill in my sleep. So here we are, Glass Masquerade for a little battery that feels a little bit fragile. Um, there's not really much that I know about this, apart from it's a puzzly type do, and it's a bit more relaxed, and that's sort of the... Uh, that's sort of the feeling I'm getting today. I need to be a, bit, a little, little bit more relaxed, despite my peppy, chirpy nature. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit blah. Feeling a little bit blah. But let's begin and see what Glass Masquerade is all about. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to the International Times Exhibition, dedicated to the decorative stained glass artisans of the 20th century, with a new visitor achievement unlocked. Ooh. And Hippie Happy's chilling after eating some pasta. Ooh, pasta noms. I want to eat pasta noms, but I'm blah. Blah. Ooh, 050 inspected. We recommend inspecting the exhibition starting in France, leaving further route planning to you. Okay. Inspect all exhibits of the International Times exhibition. Okay, I'm going to click on France. And click play. Apparently it's a three dot difficulty. And... We have... A clock and some fragments. Take note of red fragments with rings. They can be quickly matched with corresponding rings on the clock. Okay. So... How does this work? I've, I've, this is literally all the tutorialization I've had. You go around here, so, ah, hold on. Hmm, okay. You. You just have to click on you, no. You. Do I have to build my way around? Seriously, it's, it's not tutorializing me much at all. Where am I going? I know, I can't help being sick. Red fragments, they can quickly match the corresponding rings on the clock. Ah, okay. So we can move it with the flywheel. But then how do we place these? Cause the, these are very obviously edges. Okay, and is it all with mouse? Ah, uh, no, that bit needs to go around here somewhere. You need to sit there. There we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We've placed our first piece. Um, that one goes... No. This one has to sit in the corner, which means it's going to sit down here. I don't know how to rotate this piece, though. Is there a way to rotate it? If so, it's not telling me. Which means, ah, they don't have to be rotated, okay. So they're already in their position. I got it, I got it. Okay, so that means that needs to be sat down there. Makes make more sense now, makes more sense. I thought it was going to be more complicated than I anticipated. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So we, now we need to put that down there. That one will go up here. Oh, this is exactly what I needed. It's exactly what I needed. Take the flywheel going round. And um, we have no other red pieces. Okay, this is where the den gets more complex, so. Mm. Excellent. Okay, so now we just have to put together the puzzle. Ah. Oh. Splendid. Okay, that one can go up here somewhere. That's gonna go in the middle, isn't it? That's gonna go in the middle. Where do we wanna place this? So it's, j it's just a big set of puzzles. I can dig that. A big set of puzzles is very nice indeed. Okay. You're like a little tiny shard fragment. Ah, there's a big shard fragment. Alright. Yeah. I bet these are going to look beautiful once they're sorted. I bet these are going to look beautiful. Okay. I'm just looking for one little crevice. Ah! Click! 
Nice. Okay, and that one goes there. Making progress slowly. Okay, this one doesn't sit around anywhere yet. This one. No. Okay, let's just let's just work our way around the wheel. I think that's the best bet to do. Work our way around the wheel. Hmm. No. Okay, again, just just take it gently. Okay, put that back. Don't skip bits. Don't skip bits, that's a mistake. Boop. Okay. I bet there are people that can speed run this. <laughs> like, yep, that goes there, this, 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 that, that. And I'm like, ah, I can't do puzzles that quickly. <laughs> Help my brain. My brain, it hurts. There we go. It's coming together now. I love it when a puzzle piece comes together. Okay, that doesn't belong anywhere. Oh, this is this is relaxing. I like it. Ah, now we can't move. Oh, we we can move that bit, but it's just moving all those bits, and these bits are already static. And then you can move these bits around. Okay, we'll start working from here. Cause that needs a piece like that. Okay then, I I most definitely needed this sort of a uh, this sort of game. It is very calm. I like it a lot. It's it's a very nice nighttime game. I feel very nice nighttime game. No, that doesn't belong there. Oh. Okay. That can't be placed yet. That one can be placed right there. Ah, you belong down there somewhere, but I can't put you out yet. Okay. There. Excellent. And there. And I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to see it. And there. And there. And you belong. Where do you belong? I can't see where you belong yet. I can't see where you belong in my mind's eye. You belong there. This big piece belongs. There. Yes, we're getting it. We're getting it. <laughs> Oh, is this a cute girl? Then uh, Hippie Happy goes, happy lesbian sounds. <laughs> I think it is a cute girl. Boop. And that bit right there. There you go. I can't tell where she fits. That's the only problem. There. No. Can't tell where she fits. Well, no, that fits right there. I see it. Like that. There we go, she fits right there. It is. It's a pretty little French girl. Because we're in France. Right down here. We're in France. France. <laughs> Aww. Hippie happy's in love. It is very pretty. There we are. Art Deco. Time. 5 minutes 25. Ah, I see what you did there. It's ta you're, you're against the clock, and it's a time, and it's a clock. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help puns. Record of five minutes, twenty-five seconds. I'm not. I'm not going to be speedrunning this. To be quite honest, it's, it's nice to have a beautiful puzzle and a quiet puzzle like that. I wonder if there's a way to get it so that the clock represents like your personal clock at home. That'd be nice. Can I change those settings? No, no, I cannot. Okay. Not complaining. Boop. Okay, that's France. Ooh, and it's opened up quite a lot now. Oh, we can go all over the world. <gasps> all over the world. Uh, I want to go to Britain, and then Ireland, and then Italy. So let's go to Britain and see what clock we have. Oh, they're different shapes as well. <gasps> they're different shaped clocks. I should not be this excited about clocks, but I am. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're in Britain, blighty. And I'm very happy to have these starting pieces as uh, as bits to help me out with. So I'll take it. Okay, 
goes up there, you go there, you, my friend, go down here, and now we're on our own. Excellent. <laughs> okay, let's see where we can go with this. So you need a sharp edge, and it's a very clean sharp edge as well. So... Not there. Hmm. Again, we'll work our way around the wheel. I found that helped last time. There we go. If we work our way around the wheel, I think we'll have a good shot. I think they're all going to be very beautiful clocks. That's, that's the feeling I'm going to get. That's the feeling I'm going to get. And I'm glad that it orientates itself by itself. But there's been, like, no tutorialization. The The only problem I would say with this game so far is it does not tell you whatsoever how to play. And I suppose there's something charming about that, but at the same time, it's very frustrating. Nope. Okay, where are we going to put you? Nowhere, it seems. Let's get the big bit out. Ah, okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Need some big flat bits. No, you belong down here. There we go. Now I know what I'm looking for. Now, now I've got a bit of uh, work to go off of. Okay. Hmm. Again, a bit more of a contemplative video stream. A bit more of a contemplative experience this one. Okay, we've already seen you, so now we're back into this bit. See, where are we going today? Not there, okay. Hmm. That will be... Ooh, no, hold on, that's not that bit. <sighs> ah, I see though, I, I see, I see, I see. That bit right here will go there, okay. And that bit is... Up here? No, it's not up there. Okay. Colour me bamboozled. Colour me bamboozled. Okay. That bit is very clean as well, so that belongs up there. Basically, any clean edges... Oh, no. Any clean edges... Should belong. So you should be there, but you don't sit in that place nicely. All fractured clocks. Hmm. Need a nice edge bit. I need a nice edge bit. <sighs> Where is this going? Where do you belong? I've got a big middle which which I'm just missing out on, and I don't understand what I'm missing. There we go. There's a bit. Okay, I don't understand where I'm missing the big bit. Hello! <gasps> oh, could this be a, a horse rider? Hmm, where do you belong? Okay, there's an edge bit, and I know there's an edge bit. And it's not there. So where do you belong? Because I can't rotate you. This is this just gonna be me going? Where do you belong? Where do you sit? There. For an hour and a half, maybe two. I really like this. <laughs> okay, we've got a big bit here. Hmm. No, oh no, hold on, hold on. No, that doesn't sit there, okay. Where are you? Where do you belong? This is very confusing, but I'm sure that it will click with me once I get it. It will most definitely click once I understand.
Ah, yes, okay. I was like, wait a minute, that belongs there. Contemplation. There we go. Okay, now I can't move that wheel, but I can still move this wheel. Okay. It means there's something going on over here. There we go. Okay, it's starting to come together. It's starting to come together. <laughs> I just like that feeling when when you start you start seeing how everything fits and and it, it all just moves in. Ah, but you can't move them away from each other. Okay. Okay. There's some very unique pieces down here, which I should be able to see very easily. Like, like this bit here, it's like a long bit. There we go. Okay, it, it's a very, very specific piece, like that. There we go. There we go. I'm seeing it. It's coming together. Where do you belong? Where do you belong? There. Okay then. Hello. You sit somewhere. <laughs> I can't tell where. There's the big bit. I just don't understand how there's so many pieces. They look so small, and then when you bring them up, they're extra large. It's like, what the heck? All my perspective is gone. Okay, we've got a long bit, so that will go there. Yeah, see, that, that perspective was just all wrong for me. I didn't understand how it fit together. But, as we slowly piece together the puzzle, right, that one there, that one there, and that one there, we have a second clock. And it's a person, Oh, it's Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> this is a cute girl too. Why not? Sherlock. Why not? She's pretty. In 8 minutes 21 seconds. Ah, oh, and you've got Big Ben, okay. Now I'm seeing it. Now I'm seeing it. <laughs> Butch icon, exactly. So we've just unlocked Ireland. Which is even more difficult. Ah, was Britain four, four, four star difficulty and then France was three. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, that's three. Let, let's go to Portugal. We'll, we'll come back to Ireland. Oh, which is a Halloween demo, okay. We'll come back to uh, Ireland when we're feeling a bit spookier. When we're feeling a little bit spookier. Or Germany. We'll do Germany. We'll do Germany because that one unlocks Sweden and such. That one unlocks Sweden and such. Going to Germany. Ooh, German engineering. Let's go. Hello. Ah, and it's the interior. Okay. But I'm supposing there will be these bits around the outsides as well. It's going to be fun. Okay. see how this goes. I'm going to trust these bits. There we go. We're, we're going to build out the edges first. We're going to build out the edges. There we go. Building out the edges, step by step. Mm -hmm. No, that's not an edge bit. That's not an edge bit. That bit? Isn't mm, ah down here, excellent. 
Okay, you belong up there. See, when there's a more given shape, when there's a more defined shape, I start to see patterns uh, a bit easier. There we go. I, I can't see where you belong yet. And I can't see where you belong, but you... Definitely a shard of glass. You belong there. Can anybody see what it is yet? Oh, look, th this piece looks like a griffin. Very funky. Somewhere I can't quite tell. There should be an edge bit, a very obvious edge bit. But I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the very. Ah, is that the very. Yep, yeah, that's the very obvious edge bit. Okay. Pitchy Nanny, a hidden picture game. Yes! It's clocks, and, and you put puzzles together inside the clock faces. It's a very calm experience, and I'm very happy with it. Because, <laughs> slight headache, but this is actually somewhat helping with the headache, even though I'm focusing. But I don't know. It helps, somehow. Uh, we are going to put... There. And this is the German one between. We're in Germany, down here. These have a bit of a bad reputation in Germany. The clocks, or hidden picture games? Or both? The games of this genre. Why is that? If you don't mind me asking. I'd, I'm actually quite interested. <laughs> I'm guessing they might be a bit more lewd than pretty clock faces. Uh, yes. There. Yeah, there. Uh, this may be the fastest one yet. What is it? One of the biggest YouTubers from the country eventually started playing these, and most of them were, let's say, not well made. Ah, uh, okay. This one, I've been happily surprised by. It. And it's a knight! Ah. A knight on a horse. It's a bit more difficult to see, I would say, than the others, but you can, you can see the knight here, and then you've got the horse there, but... It's this bit up there and that bit down there, which sort of takes away from the central image, I feel. It's a bit like uh, between simulator games in Britain. A, a lot of simulator games aren't that well put together, because we've, uh, we've seen a, a lot of people play simulators that, that are not exactly uh, put together with uh, concrete, let's say. More like rubber bands and, and, and pins. Rubber bands and pins. Okay, where are we going next? Italy? Turkey? We could go to Italy. Or Sweden, like. Sweden's an easier one. Let's go see what Sweden is like. It, it's actually... I've been honestly surprised. The, the only thing I would say is, could you just have it so that, like, the clock is the same, like, clock configuration as your home country? So, for example, at the moment, it's midnight for me, so it would just be stuck at midnight. That would be the only thing that I would ask for, just because it would then also be like a nice timekeeping thing, which would fit in with the whole clock, glass thing aesthetic. It would be very pretty, I feel. Ah, uh, is this going to be a bell? Oh no, it's, it's going to be uh, a ship, a Viking ship, I think. Hi, hi, Supreme. How are you doing? Everybody's coming by for the clock face today. <laughs> This one belongs somewhere, but I don't know where. That one has a nice piece going on down here. No. What is this game about? Um, it's about glass frames, like like glass painting, and and picture frames that are clocks, and then putting together the the, the shattered remains of a clock that has been smashed, so that you have a pretty clock. 
I think this is Vikings. Can't quite tell yet, though. So we've got to actually try and put, put this together. Um, <laughs> this is the step I struggle with. Is is like the edges and stuff. There we go. And then once you've got edges, you can start moving inwards. So at the moment, I'm looking for small bits like that. And that. Yes. Okay, this is where we start knocking things into fourth gear. Twelfth gear? Fourth gear. I don't know. Okay, put that there. You've got a big bit there, but where do you belong? Why do you taunt me so? Ooh, Viking helmet. It is like. I got this for like 89p in a Steam sale. Yes, it is on Steam. I, I got it. The Steam sale before last, and it's just been sat in my inventory for ages. But um, I figured, hey, I've not touched this game at all. It's supposed to be calm and relaxing, and and why not? I'm in a more calm, relaxed mood today. So figured we'd play a little bit of this. Play just a tad until I fall asleep. Hopefully, feeling a little bit better. Boop. I don't know how much that is to buy, but uh, so for 69, 79p is about a dollar fifty, ish, maybe, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Another edge piece. Another edge piece. So, what do you think this will be a picture of Vikings of? At the moment, I think it's like a Viking overseeing a boat. We can play a nice guessing game with everyone in the chat. It's like, what do you think it will be? I think it's going to be a Viking with a boat. Because at the moment we've got the hair going on and all that jeez. Uh, no. Ah, I've got another bit of the boat. There, somewhere. Where are you gonna hide? There. I think it's a cute Viking goddess. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> They're all pretty ladies. <laughs> um, there. Yes. Beautiful flowing hair. I also really like how how it sort of like goes in and out, like the pieces, how they orientate themselves. It's really pretty. Okay, how are we going to place this? I think you belong there. You go there. You go there. There we go. We're on a roll. We're on a roll. There. You go. Th Damn it. You go. <laughs> We're on a roll. There. And there. And here. And there. And there. And there we go. Sweden. Vikings. It is Vikings. Everyone is a pretty lady. It's true. Unless they don't want to be a pretty lady, then they're a handsome duder. Mm -hmm. There we are. Vikings. That unlocks a little bit more. Ooh, Canada and USA are over there, and Iceland has just become available. Ooh. <laughs> What's going on? Italy, and Greece, and Turkey. Where do you want to go? No, Supreme Lord Ender, no! <laughs> Let's go to Russia. Ah, Russia doesn't unlock anywhere though, does it? Does Iceland unlock anywhere? No. Where unlocks where next? Portugal. Portugal unlocks some places, as does... Italy. Let's do Russia. I feel like doing Russia. <laughs> if you have me, no! <laughs> Anger we react. No. Not allowed. So yeah, these red pieces just show where some of the uh some of the starting pieces belong, which you can turn off, but I'm in a more relaxed mood, so we're just gonna go with this. <laughs> there we go. And now we work out where we put pieces.
Okay, again, we're going to try doing the edges first. Okay, I know you belong there, damn it. <laughs> it won't sit. It won't sit nicely. <laughs> grr, no! <laughs> There's a grr, arg thing going on in chat right now. It's adorable. <laughs> okay, where do you sit? You sit around here somewhere. Okay, look, okay, Loki, take this step by step again. So we have this one here, which we can't place anywhere. I really can't tell what this is either, by the way. If anyone can guess this, then. You are a better battle than I. So you, I can't put, tell where you are. You, I can't tell where you are. You've got a big flat edge, so you just sit up there, nice. And you go there. Okay. So we've got a dude, but I don't know what he's overlooking. <laughs> if he happy and uh, Supreme Lord Ender are just having a cute off right now. Uh, there, there we go. Coming together. It's coming together. N not that bit, though. That bit was like, no! I don't want to work. Hmm. There. No. Okay, I know you sit here somewhere. No, look, look. You, you literally fit in that place just there. There we go. Supreme Lord Ender, I think he's overlooking a daytime bird and a nighttime bird. Ooh, that could be a good idea, actually, because we've got the, the night sort of, like, side and the day side here. I see it. I see it. There we go. Slotting into place. Where do you sit? You sit around here somewhere, but I just can't, that, that piece is bugging me. That piece is bugging me. You like birds. Birds are cute. Boop. The whole tweet tweet chirp chirp thing. No, I, that makes no sense. <laughs> like, that piece confused me. Look, look, I can tell, I can tell you belong around here somewhere. There. There we go. And there. And there. Ah, it's a space race. Gagarin. I have no idea who Gagarin is. No idea. But it looks like a space race thing, because there's rockets. You've got the little Soviet hammer and sickle. You've got the moon. You've got a Saturn. Yeah, I see it. Gagarin. Again, no idea who that is. Oh, Yuri Gagarin. Uh, the first Russian... First dude in space. Ah, there we go. Yuri Gagarin, in stained glass window watch form. Pretty. Oh, I think these would make quite stunning. You know, just like desktops, desktop backgrounds. The first Russian. <laughs> there we go. Ah, Russia, complete. Right, Germany. Already done. Why can't I get Poland? Ah, Halloween DLC. Okay, fair enough. It's spooky. It's a spooky clock. Yeah, I, I don't have some of the DLCs, so we may not be able to do some some of the bits and pieces, which is a little bit unfortunate. But um, I've just got the base game. So if you like what you see, then yep, it's available on Steam. But we're gonna go over to Italy now. Italy. See what this little clock is like. I'm gonna guess Leaning Tower of Pizza. Nom nom nom. Om nom 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 nom. Leaning Tower of Pizza. And yep, and you. Pizzerine, as someone who grew up in East Germany, we were still taught a lot of Soviet things, so this was brought up every now and then. Ah, okay. It was, it, it's the anniversary, it's the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, isn't it? Uh, either a couple of days ago or today. Which is just like mad how that, that was 50 years ago, and yet, you know, we're not really taught massive amounts about it, except, oh yes, this is a thing, and it's like, okay. <laughs> Confusion, but sure. Uh, 
that tells me nothing, that piece. That bit tells me that that, that bit tells me nothing too, but but sure. Okay, I'm looking for edge pieces. Yeah, one or two days ago. No moon colonies, oh no. Slander. It's not fair. It's not fair. We need moon colonists. The, the soundtrack, I just have to take a moment and, and just say we need to appreciate the soundtrack. It's a stunning soundtrack. Very hopeful soundtrack. I say that about like almost every single game that I play though that, that has a beautiful soundtrack, but that's because a lot of games do have stunning, amazing soundtracks. need to do it step by step again, so this bit. Kitterine, immediately before takeoff, Gagarin had to relieve himself and did so at the back tyre of a transport bus. This tinkle timeout has since been made into a tradition by Russian astronauts on the way to the starting ramp. Well, alright then. I, I remember reading that uh, Twitter thread as well, it's like, what the heck? It was a whole thing about uh, astronaut urination and defecation, it's just like, what? And how that they hadn't really planned for astronauts to urinate or defecate in space until somebody actually had to go in space. It's like, great fore planning. Great fore thaw, fort and fore planning. Excellent. It wasn't excellent. Um, <laughs> it was rather silly, actually. Oh, we have a lady. He'd <gasps> be happy we, ha we have a lady. A very pretty lady. In purple. Maybe some time before I can sort this out, though. <laughs> Good call, right there. <laughs> oh, we've got a second. Okay, okay then. Okay, I'm looking for a little. Like, it's literally just like a little piece, like 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 very small bit like that. There we go. I could see what I wanted. I could see that I needed it. Uh, we're missing a very obvious piece as well. Some edge pieces. Hmm. It's right up there. Like, like. Th okay, I know. I know for a fact that you're going to see about there. But I can't quite do anything with that yet. There we go. Okay, once I find this bit up here, I feel a lot more confident how I'm going to be able to sort this out. There we go. Corner bits. Corner bits. Does anybody ever do that while just like trying to do puzzles? They just randomly talk to themselves. It's like, yes, how am I going to do it? Hmm. Here. There. Just putting you into my thought process of how I solve puzzles. How I solve puzzles. Come on, I know you belong around here. No. There. There we go. There, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You go there, and you belong in there. Okay, okay. We're moving. We're moving. We're wiggling. You belong. Belong. Oh no, no. I see one of the lady bits. You go down here. One of the lady faces. Not there though. I need I need the other lady face. That one. Yeah. Sort it. Loki sees lady bits, okay then. Oh, that's out of context. No. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. 
out of context, Supreme Lord, out of context. Blep. <laughs> Blep yourself. <laughs> I knew, I knew too. <laughs> Being silly. Where are you going? Hmm. I'm somewhat lost. Oh wait, there's another... There's another outer ring, isn't there? That, that That's why I was completely lost. There's another complete outer ring. Wait, 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 wait. Is there? No. I'm very confused right now. I'm very confused. There we go. That bit got very confused there. Okay. I. And another I. And. You sit. S no, I'm. You sit there. Maybe. No. Hmm. Okay, it's coming together. Like that. And we've got another lady face. Another lady face? Ah, the spire sits there, okay. <laughs> so it's just a moment of sudden realisation. Ah. Here we go. And it all comes together. Pretty. Masquerade. Glass masquerade. Roll credits! No! <laughs> Not gonna end here, but no! It's a masquerade. Or pretty ladies. Don't think this is the Leaning Tower of Pizza. I can I can imagine it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They'd be happy to shout, Lesbian! Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you shouting Lesbian, Hippie Happy? They are pretty ladies, though. It's very pink. Okay, I can see the lesbian flag being in there. Fair enough, Hippie Happy. Fair enough. I think I think all of the, the lesbian flag colorings are actually in there. You got purple, got pink, got some slight blues. I see it. I see it. Okay, everyone is lesbian, deep down within themselves. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Greece is a very interesting triangular clock. Ah, and you can look at them. <gasps> oh. The funny thing is, Supreme Lord Ender goes on to say, let's go into Greece. <laughs> the funny thing is... Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I'm just going to click together these bits quickly. That was uh, that was an inside joke me and my ex-girlfriend had. Uh... <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, then. It's all those bits. What's it? No, <laughs> wholesome. It's true. And I don't know why I went Irish for some second. I don't know. I don't know why I went Irish. This is going to be a very triangular piece, isn't it? In, in terms of, like, the, the pieces themselves. No. Hmm. Ah! Pick it up. Supreme Lord Ender. Everyone is a lesbian. Men, women, children. Everyone is a lesbian. End of discussion. I said end of discussion! Nobody says otherwise. Ha ha ha. Tis the trans agenda to make everybody a lesbian. <laughs> that and have cute doggos and puppies. Doggos, cattos, all of the pets. They're all adorable. Mm -hmm. 
and to become cat people. Ah, yes, I see you too are a furry of culture. <laughs> Who's seen that cat's trailer then? Come on, speak up. Who's seen the cat's trailer? <laughs> Supreme Lord Ender, don't forget that part. Because I have, and I think people are unduly hating on it. It's, it's, cats is weird. We all know cats is weird. And, I, I, basically, it, it, I feel it pays homage. <laughs> Not that kind of cat person, no. <laughs> Supreme Lord Ender just doing a complete 180. Uh, actually wasn't weirded out by the cat's trailer. And maybe it's because Hippie Happy's a furry. <laughs> no, like, uh, it, it's weird. I'll give it. The, the CGI could be a lot better, but Cats is weird. Like, it's just a weird musical anyway, so I, I feel it's very on brand for Cats. <laughs> I'll be fine with just the ears and the tail, thank you very much. Just the ears and the tails. Okay, I need to get this bit by bit now. Uh, where do you belong? Ah, there, okay. And then there was another piece of similar stature around here. There. Antlers? Confusion? Much confusion. Another antler. What the heck is this? I honestly don't know. What the heck are you? I don't know what's going on. I think it's a Minotaur. Ah, yes. A Minotaur. That makes a lot of sense now. That makes a lot... Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Supreme Lord Ender. <laughs> and then Pittering just jumps in. It's like, oh yeah, that actually does make sense. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Just want to work out where particular pieces go. What? No, no, you totally sit there. Oh, no, you sit there, okay. I got bamboozled. What? No, it's okay, Pittsburgh. <laughs> all of our heads are all over the place at the moment. I'm, I'm basically just, like, frazzled and brain fried. That's why, like, a puzzle game like this, a, a calm one that doesn't have a time limit, it's just like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. This is exactly what I need. I can't really be doing much Spelunky at the moment, because that would just drive me mad. The spelunk would drive me mad. Because you can see there's the little horny bits. Double entendre intended. Oh no. Jat is horny. Oh no. Wait, where do you belong? Honestly, don't know. It, it, it'll all click into place again. <laughs> oh well. What's this? Here we go, it's coming into it's coming into play. Excellent. There we go. And that goes over there. And that goes over there. I like how there's just that little ching and and then the cogs turn and uh. Loki, have I recommended Fez to you? No. Or F E Z. I, I, I don't know what that is. It is a minotaur. Ah. Okay. I thought it was just like a minotaur with little horns, but no. It's a big Minotaur. That and Trine. No. I don't know I don't think you have mentioned it. And a Minotaur. Grease. <laughs> I like it. I just like how peaceful this is. Egypt, Romania, and Turkey are all unlocked. Fez is a puzzle game that revolves around rotating the world to create new paths. Oh. I did a smart. <laughs> so I just love how Supreme Lord then comes in and like, yeah, I did the thing. Heritage's demo. Oh, God, it's getting more difficult. Let's take it back to Portugal. It's a little bit easy. <laughs> Thank you. 
My brain is not ready for more difficulty. This is difficult enough for the time being. Please. Ugh. There. And Trine is also a puzzle platformer where in order to solve puzzles you have to switch between three characters with different skills. Okay. I can most definitely see myself enjoying that. I like little puzzly platformers. I like little puzzly platformers. So this is Portugal. I know almost nothing about uh, Portuguese popular culture or myth, so you may have to enlighten me on this one. May have to enlighten me. Maybe it's a boat on the ocean. You might have got it <laughs> straight away because I, I think this is a wave. And these are some flags up here, so I think Hippie Happy got it straight away, but we'll see. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now I've got to solve it to to see if, Hip if Hippie Happy's right. Between a mage, a knight, and a thief get trapped in an artifact and need to work together to be released from it. The mage can conjure boxes and move things, the thief has a grappling hook, and the knight can use his shield. Ah. Come on, that totally sits there. No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, that sits there. Okay. Fair enough. Supreme Lord Ender says the only thing they know about Portugal is that one kid who stole my lunch back in kindergarten was Portuguese. So you didn't get a good impression of Portugal then? Oh no. Get the edges first and we'll work our way in. No, c come on, you can totally sit there. I d yeah. Maybe, no, okay. Let's try the outer edges. No. Hey there, Sanglier Lotus. How are you today? We're just experiencing some glass masquerade at the moment. It's a, it's a very peaceful experience. Um, I wasn't expecting to get so so involved in it as I have, <laughs> to be quite frank, to be quite honest. But here we are. You get. Ah, maybe there. Here we go. Building it together. Building up the picture. Building up the boat. We think it's a boat. I saw a piece. Where are you? That fits in that bit. You. There we go. Still got that edge up here though. Still got that edge up there that I need to do something with. There we go. No, 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 look, look. You sit right. No, you don't, do you? Do you sit in that edge there? No. Okay. I'm just tricking myself. I'm just tricking myself. Some very shard, some very shard, some very sharp shards of glass. Lots of S's in that sentence. Hence why I probably struggled with it. Um. Where are you? 
belong somewhere. You belong somewhere. Every piece belongs somewhere. And that's what makes me happy. That there's no extra pieces or missing bits. Unlike some other puzzles that you come across, it's like, what the heck? Why are there these extra things? I don't need these extra things. <laughs> I'm eating spaghetti. Ooh. Um, nom, nom, nom. Spaghetti noms are good. Spaghetti noms are good noms. Okay, I have to take a moment and uh, appreciate what I'm trying to do now. So, I've already done all those bits. We need to go back into the middle. Okay, no, you. I see you belong somewhere. Like there. There we go. Then there's just like a little sliver. A little sliver there. Ah, here we go. Making some progress again. We need some long, slivery bits. Some some long bits. Here we go. Start start getting the long bits together. See where they fit in. No. Here we are. Because if we get the long bits together. Then we might. There. No, damn it. <laughs> might be able to get that big shard out and then I'll feel a lot better about that situation. Where are you? No, not the little one. Not the little one. Okay, where are you going? Around his you've got a very straight bottom edge. I find that very odd. Ah, there we go, that's where that long bit goes. And that's where that long bit goes, okay. That was the straight long straight edges that we needed. Passa! Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. It is indeed a ship. A very pretty ship on some roiling waves. No, you're not a piece of ship. You're not a piece of ship. Don't say that, Supreme Lord Ender. No. Not allowed. I'll get out the spray bottle. <laughs> Don't make me get out the spray bottle. There we go. Okay, then we've got a tiny little bit. Boop. No, it's not. I'll get the spray bottle. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Where are you going? You're there, and you belong there. No, no you don't. Yes, you do. Maybe not. Okay, who am I to disagree? Um... <laughs> no. For those that can't see chat, which which is, is everybody either watching this on YouTube or just don't have chat open. Um, Supreme Lord Ender is basically just arguing with me that they're, they're a piece of ship, which they're not, but, um, <laughs> I want to get the spray bottle. I need to get, like, a little spray bottle sound, sound effect. There we go, there's that bit. <laughs> no! That goes there, and there, and... Believe me, I have spent numerous hours with my partner, Luki, going, You're cuter. No, you're cuter. And, and, and we've yet to make a decision, so... Well, Luki is the adorableist, but... But but I, I let him think that he wins the... That, that that he wins it sometimes, but no, no. Luki is the adorableist, so... I have the patience. I have the patience. Much like I need the patience to complete these little puzzles, I have the patience to withstand this. <laughs> No, you battles are wholesome as heck. Luki's the adorable list, though. It's true. Just, just, 
don't let him hear that I said that because then then he'll come back and say no it's me and and and, and then and then we just go back into a circle but but because Lukey isn't watching this because Lukey sleeps around now Lukey's the adorablest I win ha 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 he may watch this on YouTube which oh no <laughs> Lukey no you're the best you win no I win heck I did myself a bamboozle headaches no damn it <laughs> Lukey's the adorablest damn it <laughs> heck moving on before I confuse myself further and hurt myself in, in my own confusion. <laughs> Isn't a galleon a coin from Harry Potter? It is. You have the... Let, let's get this right. You have the nuts, the sickles, and the galleons. I can't exactly remember what the... The translation from nuts to sickles and sickles to galleons is. It's a very weird conversion. But I can remember that it's nuts, sickles, and galleons. Okay, Spain is a Heritage's DLC, Morocco is another DLC. Uh, I wish to go over here. Ah, okay, so, oh, we're going all over the world, heck. Heck. USA is more difficult. Iceland is a little bit easier. We'll go, we'll go with Iceland. Because I hurt myself in my own confusion. And, uh, <laughs> we'll go back to an, a slightly easier one to ease the pain. Iceland, what do you think Iceland will be? I'm gonna guess an angel from these wings things. These wing things. Or a harp, maybe? Could be a harp. I'd guess that the USA one is gonna be the Statue of Liberty. That that's a pretty solid guess. It's a pretty solid heckin' guess. Based on the location of the node on the map as well. Ah, that's some next level thinking. That's some next level thinking that I'm not exactly up to today. <laughs> when they click into place, does it actually advance the clock a little bit faster? I'm not sure. I'm maintaining that this one's an angel of some kind. Ooh. Oh, it's another pretty lady. On a harp. I was right about the harp bit. Just wrong about the angel bit. Harp. Oh, that's cute. Like a little elf lady. With braids in her hair. Cheese goals. <laughs> I like her hair. Very nice and long. It's beautiful. I want a hair like that. Why can't I have hair like that? Boo. Hop. I appreciate that. I appreciate that one a lot. Iceland, you have the best clock by far so far. The Minotaur one's pretty good as well, and, and the Masquerade one. Quite pretty, but I like Iceland. I like the greens and the browns, I think. I like the greens and the browns. Again, there's some that I'm not going to be able to do just because they're going to be DLCs and such. But uh... oh god, is is Ireland just a lot more difficult? Yeah, I think Ireland is just a very difficult one. Okay, uh, Egypt. Oh god, they're getting more difficult. Um, come on, give me some easy ones. My brain is melting today. We'll go with the USA. It's not an easy one, but by what you said. By what you said, Supreme Lord Ender is probably the Statue of Liberty, so we'll go with that. See how accurate that is. If I can actually get a piece down. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I, th I, th I think you're going to be right. <laughs> Just because we've got like a, a city skyline bit there. 
We've got a, a little bird right there. So let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm just wanna, I want to work on the edge pieces first, like up here. No, no, like like up here. I say. Or not? Okay, uh, that one. No. Okay, start there. No curvy bits. Want to work on the edge first, like that. There we go. Okay, start working on the outer ring. Question. Shoot. Go for it. Uh, when am I allowed to become the pretty heart lady? Whenever you want. I'm working towards it myself. I'm working towards it myself. I'm hoping to book an appointment, actually, to get, get that whole transition train rolling. But, uh, things are expensive and slow, so I'm hoping that I can take the first few steps before Christmas. That's what I want to do. I want to get somewhere more tangible before Christmas. That's my current goal. Let's pick you back and work on this side. This game is so peaceful, I love it. <laughs> it is a nice goal to have, just to try and get somewhere before Christmas. Because I'm currently living full-time as a woman, so... It should hopefully be easier. It should hopefully be easier than some. A little cuter each day. Because every day you transition a little more. It's true. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> I think you're right. Okay, we're still working on... That... Where are these edges? Currently living full time as a boy and it's very, very upsetting and sad. I... yeah. I can completely understand. I... I was denying myself for such a long time. Just because I didn't have the courage to... self-actualize... my inner feelings and I, I was just... trapped in a prison of my own creation is, is probably the best way to put it. Um, So I was just too scared to move forward, but also too scared to go back as well, to reflect on anything. We're getting into that <laughs> deep personal section of uh, the stream, I feel. Another side that I need to sort out. That bit there is very confusing to me. I 
on, you belong just there. How are you going to sit? This is for sure, and you're all amazing people. Everybody's amazing. It's true. Okay, I can't do anything with those bits, so we're going to change tactic. We're going to move over to some other sides. Change our tactics. Here we are. Ooh, it's a plane! Sorry. <laughs> Got far too excited about a plane for a second. You get no, 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 don't run away. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have another pretty lady. We can have the Statue of Liberty. We're not even halfway through this puzzle yet. <laughs> Heck, it's a big puzzle. Um, a complicated puzzle with that. I feel like I'm being bamboozled by this one. Hmm, there. Okay. So yeah, no, no tutorialization, and you have to find your way. But otherwise... It's a stunning game. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see where you're supposed to go. I think. Not really. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. It's, it's just wonderful that somebody took the time to make all these beautiful drawings. Sometimes life feels like a big bamboozle. That, that is so true. Truer words have never been spoken. True words have never been spoken. Okay, I've got those edges. Where are you supposed to go there? No, 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 look, 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 look. There. There we go. And I can't rotate that bit, and I can rotate that bit. Ah, so they're all separate rotations, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm slowly understanding it. Slowly understanding how it all fits together. You're still revolving, so we should probably try and get you diminished. Oh, come on, no. I know, I know you sit there. There we go. Okay, I can't move you. I can't move you. So these are all the pieces that we have remaining. Okay. It's just so satisfying when you finally get get it working. There we go. But where does this piece go? It's a very pointy piece. There it is. Okay. No, no, look, look. You belong down there, don't you? You belong down there. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting it. Hmm. 
I'm very glad that it doesn't have a visible timer. Well, it's got the clock, but it doesn't have a visible timer on screen. I think that would stress me out a lot more. I think that would stress me out a lot more. There you go, there's the Statue of Liberty, and then we just have to get her flame. There we go, there's her flame. Oh. Beautiful lady in green. There we go. Oh. United States. I may have to get the DLC for this, you know. <laughs> Yay, I did another smart. <laughs> it's true. I'm just going to quickly go and get a drink, but I'm going to leave this up on screen with the beautiful music as uh, as I go and do that, because, I don't know, just, I feel we should actually appreciate this artwork, it's, it's really quite beautiful, but I, I will be right back, but I'm just going to leave it on the screen, just because it really is quite stunning.
Hello again. It's me, Loki. Loki Knight. Have we feasted our eyes upon this beautiful glass one? Yes? No? Well, tough. We're going. <laughs> We're going to make a beautiful new one. That's the USA done. Hello, everybody. Ooh. Is this Cuba? <gasps> Christmas DLC for USA. Okay. Neat. <gasps> Canada. Oh, but they're more difficult ones. One of the easy ones, boo. What's over here? USA, but that's the Ince- Ooh, Inceptions. There's quite a few uh, USA ones. Okay, we're going to go back over to... We did Portugal, right? Oh, we've got Ireland. It's a Halloween demo, but it's a difficult one again. I don't want to give myself a headache. Um, Turkey is four stars and Egypt is four- Well, let's do Egypt. Canada's going to be a leaf. Well, you said it now, so I've got to do it. <laughs> Canada's going to be maple leaf. Let's go. It's like, if somebody says what they think one's going to be, then of course I'm going to go and do it, because I want to know. i got to know. No, it's okay, Supreme Lord Ender. I was moving towards Canada anyway, because it's like, ooh, Canada. Ooh, Canada. Okay, let's start up here again. We want the edges. So we're going to start working away at the edges. Okay, come on, come on. I, I, I know you sit maybe on, like, there, or... No. Hmm. It's going to be very stylized maple leaf. <laughs> I think I will leave it on this one though, because um, I am starting to slowly develop a headache. And I don't want to get mad during a beautiful game. Like this. So we might do one or two. One or two. Canada and then one more maybe. One more perhaps. Bring it up to the two hour mark. If I don't spend forever on this one. Which I have a feeling I'm going to spend forever on this one. <laughs> Doesn't look too easy. But we shall see. Okay. I like being streamed at the two hour mark. It's, it's, it's a nice... It's a nice time, I feel. A nice length of, of stream. I'm slowly trying to push towards longer and longer streams, but... For now, I feel it's a nice length. Okay, where do you belong? Is a question I've been asking myself many times. Where do I belong? Where should I go? What am I doing with my life? These are all questions that I ask myself on a nightly basis. <laughs> Same as a Supreme Lord Ender. Existential dread, oh no. That is a very weird piece. Probably do the island one, do a spooky one. Do a difficult spooky one. Okay. Pick that one. I just want to work at the edges. If I can get the edges down, then I'll feel a bit more confident. I always feel more confident once I have the edges down. <laughs> I'm starting to doubt that this is a leaf. <laughs> so Supreme Lord then, hmm. I think so too, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it could be. Part of the guessing game. Um. No, you don't belong there, do you? You belong there. There we go, click. Hmm. 
Ah, can I Yep, I can still rotate that one, okay. Working away at one edge. I like that you don't have to rotate the piece, uh, pieces as well. That would have added a whole new layer of difficulty that I was not prepared for. Quick sip of drink. Refreshing, refreshing water is beautiful. Uh, refreshing water is a godsend. And there's no drink like water. H2O. It's truly splendid. Okay, where are we going? Hmm. You're a weird shape. Again, I'm aware this is a much more quiet and introspective stream. Uh, what temperature do you like your water? Uh, cold. As cold as possible, and then less and less so as it gets warmer. As cold as heckin' possible. You're a weird bunny shape. I'm sure I'd recognise you. We've still got an edge to play with. What the hell is this? <laughs> can't actually tell what this is. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Making progress. Almost halfway there. Always feel like throwing up after drinking warm water. Yeah, it's just, it just tastes tepid. Tepid water is ill. No, there's another small piece somewhere. It's a tiny piece. Absolutely tiny. Let's work from here. I also like how it phases out the, the clock face as well, so when you're about to put a piece in, it's like, yep, I'm gonna go away, and then when you fail, it's like, yep, I'm here. What is this? I was going to say, this is a thing, and I'm like, uh, is it? It's either it's probably going to be super obvious in the end or something. Yeah, it, it, it'll probably be like one of those magic eye puzzles. It's like ah, that's what it was after all. After all this time, that's what it was. And I'll, I'll also be like, what? What the heck? <laughs> We're looking for a weird shape. There we go. It could just be a maple leaf, but like a really strange maple leaf. Like the weirdest maple leaf. I spy an irregularity. Ooh. What's that? What irregularity do you spy, Supreme Lord Ender? Ah, okay, I see where this bit goes. Bam. What the 
hell is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Ah, that bit goes there, okay. Supreme Lord Ender, I think you might be right. It might be a maple leaf. Just a really weird, abstract maple leaf. Cranes? Cranes! It is cranes. I see it now. You've, you've got the pink. It's, it's just because they're such similar colours to the background. You've got, like, one crane on the left. If you can see it, one crane on the left. Maybe. Down here. One crane on the left. And then one crane on the right, over here. Okay. And I, I've just realised my, uh... My cursor might be the same? No, the cursor's fine. It does look like there's a leaf. It looks like a leaf, but... Yeah, it's, it, that, that's an odd one. That's an odd one. But it does unlock. <sighs> Greenland and more Canada? Ah, I can't get into that Canada. That's Inceptions. Greenland. I did say, though, I did say... We're gonna try out Ireland with a spooky one. Spooky. Let's see how spooky Ireland is. Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited. Halloween. I'm so hyped for Halloween. <laughs> He'd be happy says I'm spooked already. <laughs> <gasps> it's a happy little pumpkin! Down here, look! I don't know if it's the same on... Because for some reason my cursor is, is off as to your cursor, but... But there's a happy little pumpkin! Right here! Right here! Happy little pumpkin! Aww. Ooh. Spooky. <laughs> We're looking for the edges again. Oh, 57. Bloody hell, this is a difficult one. Okay. Looks like this is going to be the last one of the stream, because 50 bloody 7. We'll be here forever. Um. Ah, oh, but we're going to have some of the best music in the game. This is going to be some of the best music. Uh, I know it. I know it straight away. Oh, I'm gonna have to get the Halloween DLC, aren't I? I'm sold on the Halloween DLC right now. I'll be damned if we don't complete this whole game. <laughs> and I'll be streaming it all, damn it. It's good. Okay, but for now, let's focus. Let's do a focus and get this right. Uh, we've got a little bit at the top. Also, that, that looks like a cross. It does. What did you just notice, Supreme Lord Ender? You hath noticed something. Even the clock hands are spooky, it is true. They're all wobbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly spooky wooky. If there isn't a bat, in one of the Halloween ones, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Wait, I just saw where the, sp the spiky one goes. Spiky one goes there. Yes. Yes, I would be very disappointed if there is not a bat in one of these. <sighs> Spooky. <laughs> okay. How it spins. So satisfying. Ooh. 
Ooh, I think there's gonna be a big spooky, big, big, big spooky, spooky, spooky pumpkin in the middle. <laughs> we did a Halloween special last year, actually. Yeah, I, I remember doing the Halloween special. It was um, it was the fractured but whole South Park. Yeah, because they had a Halloween DLC, so I I, I did a a full play of that. That was great. And that was fun. Come on, I need to focus on getting the, the edge. So we're going to start with this piece and we're going to go round. Okay, can't see where any of that belongs. That goes down there. We've already looked at that piece. That one goes... Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, stained glass. <laughs> it's it's just it's it's aesthetically perfect for Halloween. That's what's getting me so excited. It's almost making me forget that I've got a headache and 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 feeling like dirt, but <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Nearly though, nearly. Hmm. Hmm. Contemplation. So my guess is that this is a pumpkin patch. Very happy, jolly pumpkin patch. Pump a pumpkin patch. Heck, I can't talk. I can't talk. Ah, okay. <laughs> I got, I got, I got a bit startled. <laughs> the Halloween's getting to me. The Halloween's getting to me. Almost a third of the way there. Almost, or maybe just over a third of the way. Lots of little pieces to this. Okay, that big piece has got to go somewhere. Yeah, that that big piece belongs up there. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to see a pattern. Looks like there's gonna be a big pumpkin.
Let's have to try and get this piece together. It's not going to be easy to piece together this one. But we're slowly getting there. I mean, Halloween is just the best time of year. And you cannot change my mind. It's just a beautiful time of year. Oh, hello. With the colours. Over halfway done! Almost. <laughs> almost over halfway done. Right, the colours and... The temperature is perfect in the UK. Pum oh, pumpkin soup is gorgeous. Pumpkin soup is like my favourite thing. Seriously, if you've never tried pumpkin soup before, you need to try pumpkin soup. It is the best. Hands down. There's a little bit that belongs in you, and I've got to figure out where that bit is. Let's start searching around for that bit. Okay, nope. Some of this down here, nope. Nope. Okay, let's scroll that round. Yellow pumpkin. But no, we're searching for this pumpkin's face. We're searching for that pumpkin face. And solving some bits and pieces while we do. Think there might be a witch with a cauldron. I don't think you're wrong, Supreme Lord and I don't think you're wrong. Ah, and I can't re I can't revolve that bit anymore, but I can revolve this bit. Okay, so now we need to start moving over here, looking around. Okay, not that one, not that one. Here we go. Oh no, the face is too big. Not that one. There we go. That's another bit. Again, that face is too big, but it might belong up here. No. Yeah, I think this is the witch's hat or something. I should play more puzzle games. Like, like actually puzzle games, not not like puzzle. Do you know what I mean? Like puzzle games that are actually puzzles. Ah, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let's try revolving these bits and pieces. <gasps> Happy pumpkin. Okay, we're gonna get Happy Pumpkin out soon. We're gonna get Happy Pumpkin out soon enough. Okay, we can't revolve that bit, we can't revolve that bit, we can revolve that bit, and we can revolve that bit. So we're going to solve the bits that we can revolve first. Still revolve it. Okay. Okay, now we're over halfway done. That's true, definitely. Definitely over halfway done. Most definitely. And I think that's part of the witch's hat. That belongs down here somewhere. Oh, come on, you're going to be about there. There we go. 
I like how you can't guess, like, like you have to roughly know where things are for it to be placed. None of that, but we do have the hat. There we are. And there's the other bits of the witch's hat, but I can't tell quite where it goes. Okay, we can still revolve this bit too. Let's start working on some of these other bits. Hmm. There we go. Ah, oh, his face is coming together. This is the main body of the witch, I think. Okay, where the heck is that going to sit? <gasps> little baby pumpkin. Where's that little baby pumpkin going to sit? Leaf. A leaf. I can't figure out where that leaf goes. Because there's that leaf and then that sits in that leaf. Yeah, there and then and then that bit sits in the leaf like that. There we go. I could see that, but I just wasn't sure exactly how it went. Okay, now we can't revolve anything. So we've got all the pieces that we need. All the pieces that we need to place down. There we are. There's his face. We've got another happy little pumpkin. She's gonna sit right there. Yes! Okay, we've got the pumpkins! I'm so happy for the pumpkins. They're so pretty. Gotta somehow gotta get down another pumpkin. Another pumpkin? How's another pumpkin gonna sit down? There was his face all along. Oh, maybe it's not a, um... Maybe it's not a witch. Maybe it's pumpkins dressed in, like, a witch's gown. So it's like a person made a pumpkin. Or a pumpkin made a person. Maybe. Like a headless horseman type deal. Why can I not get these final few bits down? These should be the simple bits. I think that's what it is, you know. It's... It's a pumpkin being... Being silly. And dressing up as a person. <laughs> you were right about the hat, to be fair. <laughs> There we are! Pumpkins! Halloween! Huh! Taster of Halloween! So pretty! Pumpkins being silly! <laughs> Very Halloween-y time. So let's just take a brief look at some of the different bits and pieces that we've seen on our travels. So, 
Italy. Greece. Portugal. Iceland. The US of A. Canada, which wasn't a maple leaf for some reason. And Hippie Happy is being silly. <laughs> Heck. <laughs> Very silly indeed. And Ireland. I, I like Ireland. Ireland's a particular favourite of mine because pumpkins. Because pumpkins, that's why. I think I'm going to leave this little stream here. Um, but I most definitely will be covering more of this on the channel. I will most definitely be covering more of this on the channel because we've got a lot to go through yet. We have got a lot to go through yet. We've got all the way down to New Zealand and Australia, and we haven't even gotten into Asia yet. So, most definitely going to be more from me. And then there's DLCs as well, so we're going to be focusing on those. But in the meantime, it does unfortunately come to that shill, shill, shill bit of this live stream. If you did enjoy it, you know, hit that follow button. And if you massively enjoyed it, hit the subscriber button. If not, it's perfectly fun as well. Those sorts of things can go and fall to pieces, much like a glass when it's been shattered. Oh no! Don't shatter it. No, that'd be very bad. And and I think that's as good a place as any to leave it as our chat are arguing about who's pretty and who's cute. And <laughs> you're all pretty and cute, but Lukey's the cutest. My partner. It's true. Cutest. Cutest patootie. Cutest foxo. But let's see who I can't send you over to. Let's see if anybody is doing a glass masquerade. Glass masquerade. Anybody is doing that. Thank you, Pitterine. I hope you have a good one as well. I'm the only one playing Glass Masquerade. What the heck? It's an amazing game. It should be played more. Anybody I know playing video games? Spelunky. Spelunky's a good game. Suspense Nasty is playing some Spelunky. I definitely recommend checking that out. They're very good at the game, except they're not playing it. Why? 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 Why Twitch? Why? Why are you doing this to me, Twitch? You're being mean to me, Twitch. Um. Sam CV is playing Spelunky. Definitely go and check them out, because, uh, you know, they're very active on the old Splunky Discord, so you might learn a thing or two. You might learn a thing or two if you do plan on getting into Splunky. So as it does indeed come to those final 10 seconds of the stream, I sincerely hope that you have enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and indeed, a good night. Hope to see you around.